Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to Marvel Realm of Champions. World quests are now in the game, and we have the strat that's going to help you dominate the heroic mode, and it works just as well for normal. But first, before we jump into that, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. Just a quick reminder, all the links to my social media are in the description below, so definitely check that out. I am also working on building up the community for this game on my Discord. The link is in the description below as well. So World Quest, they're in the game. I have to say, I've been excited for these, and I'm not disappointed. I really enjoy these World Quests, these first iterations of them. So I'm really interested to see what they turn out to be later on, how they evolve, things like that. I've really wanted something to build a strategy around old MMO days where, you, where you've got tanking and DPS and everybody's got their roles. And that's kind of what happens with this. And it works out very well. So this strategy works very well for heroic. It's gonna work very well for normal because it's the exact same pattern. So once you get in here, now remember heroic is geared towards 1100 power level or higher. I have grouped with, um, with someone who was at 900. I was a little leery but he was at 900, he did very well, had a very well geared Iron Legionnaire and followed the strat to the T and it worked out very well and that's one of the gameplays that you're gonna see. I have three gameplays after this explanation that I'm gonna show. All three are successful completions of Heroic, one with Web Warrior and the other two are where I'm playing Tank. Now the strategies between DPS and Tank are a little bit different. So once everybody gets into the arena and starts the world quest, everybody's gonna run left and burn the mobs down over there. And then everybody's gonna run over to the right and burn the mobs down over there. Once wave three starts, that's where things are a little bit different and you're gonna separate. So your DPS is gonna go right, burn down the mobs over there. Your tank is gonna go left and essentially kite. You can kite. So if you're familiar with old MMO terms or, or current, I guess current too, I guess you do some kiting in current as well, but you're going to kite them around. If you can take out the mobs, great. Watch your health, but you're going to kite your mobs and you're going to kite the hulks over there until your DPS can, can join you. And then everybody's going to burn down those mobs and, to, and then you're going to go ahead and start that next wave. Now, Web Warrior comes in very handy. So does Iron Legionnaire specifically with the web shooters and the drones because web warrior is going to use the roots and uh, War uh, iron legionnaire is going to use um, the slow so that's really going to help help create distance between you and the mobs do extra damage things like that so it's you really want to make sure that you use your crowd control abilities now when you're a tank and you're over there so cap your super soldier is going to cut you can you can gain aggro and kite them all the way. You wanna go all the way as far to the left as you can. Be careful not to get yourself trapped in a corner. You want to sparingly use your dodge. You wanna use your block as often as it is up because it's gonna save you. And then you're also gonna use your slows and your stuns there as well. Just to help you kite, create distance. The block is gonna help obviously save you from a lot of damage from the Hulk because he just decimates you. And then your dodge is gonna help create distance. Uh, whenever you do your, your SP2s and your SP3s with your arc shield, a lot of times Hulk's going to dodge backwards. That's going to help create that distance between you and the Hulk as well until your DPS teammates can go ahead and join you and then you guys burn down. Now, don't be afraid to die. <laughs> that may sound counterproductive, but don't be afraid to die. Once you get Hulk down fairly well, and if you've got a sliver of life, a lot of times you're going to run to the center and you're going to gain some health between waves so that you can go ahead and continue. But if you've got a sliver of life running to the center to gain health, you're not going to get a whole lot. So just die. It's okay to die and then wait the 10 seconds. DPS will, for the most part, by that time, either down the Hulk and get all the mobs taken care of or they're going to slowly come back to the center so they can gain health and then you're going to you're going to revive right there and then you're going to be able to rejoin the battle and then go immediately into the next wave and do the same thing all over again. Um so that is the strat. That is it. You're going in. You've got you're going your separate ways. So I'm going to show you in these gameplay videos how that works and looks. Now sometimes so the first one with Web Warrior, we pugged the third member 
and you don't really know. If you pug the third member, if you've got a structured team and you can't get a third, so you go in there, you have to account for that third person not knowing the strategy or something. So that's kind of what happened with the Web Warrior when we were still able to do it. It worked out well. I think it was two super soldiers and me. But you have to account for that and be able to adjust on the fly. So if somebody always goes to the left, if you have another cap in there that always goes to the left, maybe go to the right to help burn down the mobs over there and get back over to the left-hand side to help that cap over there. Just be a little flexible <laughs> and account for some of those nuances in there. But obviously, if you have a structured team and everybody knows the strat, then um, definitely... Definitely is going to go much smoother for you. Also, you're going to sometimes run into people with power level 300 or 600. I don't know why. I think what needs to happen, please, I think they need to put a lock in there. So at least maybe lock it at, at power level 900. And if you're below 900, you can't even go and try and join or something like that. I think that would be helpful. And I think that would save some frustration. Because at least then, at least then, you know, the power level is going to be there. Whether they know the strat or not. Oh, who knows? But at least the power level's there, right? And you're not running around with a 300 power level like I did earlier tonight. Anyway, there you go, everybody. That's the strat I kind of rambled on. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Definitely know. let me know your thoughts on the video and the strategies. And as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. All right, everybody, enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll talk to you next time.